Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today I'm going to be showing you how to add product reviews on your Shopify store. Just like as you can see here on this demo store where you can see the review listings on your product pages and if you scroll down, you can also view customer reviews as well where customers can write and leave reviews for your products. And this is not enabled by default on your Shopify store. You do have to install an app and go through the process of adding reviews and that's exactly what I'm going to be showing you here in this tutorial here today. And before we dive into things, of course, I do want to mention if you don't already have a Shopify store, you can check out that first link down below in the video description. That's brendanvaleski.com forward slash Shopify. It will take you right over to this page here where you can get started with a Shopify free trial. Again, that's that first link down below in the video description. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the tutorial. Again, how to add product reviews to your Shopify store. So first things first, you're going to want to make sure that you're, of course, logged in to your Shopify store. Now, all, what you can do next is either search for uh, judge.me product reviews app in the search bar here, um, or alternatively, you can follow the link in the video description, which will take you right over to the Shopify app store. Uh, and this is the judge.me product reviews app. App. So of course you want to be logged into your Shopify store and you're going to follow the link to the Shopify app store. And again, you will want to make sure you are logged into your Shopify store up here in the top right corner. It should prompt you to log in uh, so that when we go through the installation process, it will be seamless and you'll already be signed in on to your store as well as on the app store. Now this is the judge.me product reviews app that is developed by a third party. It is developed by judge.me. The reason why I'm mentioning a third party is because Shopify themselves actually did discontinue their original product reviews app. That's why I'm making this video here today to give you the updated version of how to add product reviews to your Shopify store because you do need to use a third party app. You cannot use the old Shopify one anymore. It is sadly discontinued. Um, so this is the latest up to date app from a third party developer that you can then use to add product reviews to your Shopify store again, because it is not enabled by default. You do need to add an app for this to work. So of course, again, this is the judge.me product reviews app. Now, next, all we have to do is click this big black install button, and that will then prompt us to the installation page. And there is a bit of an installation process here for getting the product reviews added to your store and where they will appear and all of that, of course. So once you click that button, it will then prompt you with the install app. Next, all you have to do is click this black button here, install, and this will add the judge.me product reviews app to your Shopify store. And this will bring you into the onboarding process. Now on the left hand side here, I would recommend pinning this to your navigation as well, just in case if you click off, you don't lose where the app is. This will pin it to your apps navigation. So you can see, okay, these are all my apps, judge.me reviews. So as you can see here, welcome to judge.me. Let's set up your store to collect and display unlimited reviews. It's simple and just takes two minutes. And if I have not mentioned it already, they do have a free version as well well and it does work currently I am using the dawn theme on the Shopify store although it should work with pretty much any up-to-date online store 2.0 theme setup um, they do have a free version a forever free version so unlimited reviews uh, you know you can add photos videos carousels uh, SEO snippets, all those kind of things. If you want their awesome version, that is more advanced. That does sync up with like pop-ups and um, more additional reviews settings. If you want that, again, you don't have to use their awesome paid version. They do have a free version of this app in case I had not stressed that enough already. They have a free version. So this is, as you can see here, free plan available, a completely forever free version, not just a free trial. It is a free version completely. Uh, so don't be worried. Um, or startled that because you might have to pay something. It is free, um, at least the free version. Again, if you want the pro level uh, features, you can always upgrade in the future. If you want those, you don't necessarily need those uh, at all to even use the app. So back to the installation process here. So as you can see here, we select the language. We have English, um, and currently they are limited just to English, Spanish, French, Italian, Portuguese, and German. Um, so if you are in a different language, uh, you might be able to still set up reviews um, in the other language, but at least for the set setup process, you'll have to maybe translate if you are using a different language than what's listed. Uh, and we are currently using the uh, the current theme on the Shopify store. Make sure you select at least the current one you have it on or the one that you want this to be added to uh, in terms of where you're adding your theme. So we're going to go ahead and click start setup. 
And as we see here, we have the enable app embed. So app embed is required for reviews to show properly in your store. So we're gonna click on this button here to enable the app embed. Click on the button below to open a new window. We're going to be clicking that here. And this will bring us right to where we need to be in the Shopify theme editor to enable it. So as you can see here, we have now clicked enable on the judge.me reviews. This should show as toggled to the right um, to enable the judge.me app. Now that isn't just the only step that we need to do. Um, so as you can see here, check if the judge.me <laughs> Uh, block is enabled. As you can see here, we already went over there uh, and you see there is just that little black um, bar should be ticked enabled. So we have that enabled and then we can click save and we can continue here. Uh, and then what we need to do is actually add the review widget uh, so that the block appears on the product page template. So we can just click install review widget and it will bring us to the theme editor and it will have, once we have, of course, you know, we've enabled the app embed. And one thing with the app embed as well is when you have it there, you know, make sure that this should show as saved. As you can see here, it's already embedded and enabled. So we have it saved already there. Um, we go back here, you know, again, click save in case you haven't done that along the process. As you can see, it was already saved here. Uh, in this case here, we're going to install the review widget. So that will then repopulate this page here. Uh, again, you're just going to click that button again. Once we go back, we're going to add the review widget block. Um, so as you can see here, review widget added and boom. So as you can see here, it has added the review widget. Um, and you can drag this around to where you would like it to be. So if you want it to be at the bottom of the product page, um, such as here, this is where the customer reviews will appear on the default product. Again, this is on the default product page template. If you have other templates you've created, you know, that would be maybe for a more advanced Shopify user. You will need to also add it to those as well. If you have created additional product templates, do just keep that in mind. This will only be adding it to the default product. If you haven't touched any of these other templates or have no idea what that is, don't worry about it. You can just add it to the default product page. Uh, and then in this will add the reviews widget. Now, if you wanted to, you know, move it around, you can also click and drag here. If you wanted to, you know, maybe if you have other things here already on your product pages, you can move it above maybe related products. I wouldn't recommend going above the product information, um, but I would just keep it, you know, kind of down in the bottom of the page, but you can click and drag it here by selecting uh, this button here. You can click and drag and move it around. If you would like to do that, uh, you can feel free to do that as well. Next, just make sure you're clicking the black save button in the top right hand corner to save those changes on your store. And if we even go um, to preview the online store here, um, we go over to it and we go to say any type of product. Let's just say we go back to the uh, Rolex watch. Uh, as the example, as you can see here, we now have the customer reviews, the ability to click write a review and add a review, but we're not done yet just yet. We also need to add the star ratings, um, which will appear here at the top underneath the product listing. That is a separate part of this tutorial here. So we've added the actual widget where customers will be able to list out um, the reviews. And again, this will only populate once you actually have reviews uh, written for your products. So if you don't have any products written or product reviews written just yet, it will appear, you know, just this plain box here uh, until you go ahead and add it. Now, one thing else, one other thing to keep in mind as well um, is you can customize some of these settings in judge.me, which we'll get to in just a moment. Uh, as well if you do want to customize some of those settings we're going to go ahead and click continue so now we're going to add the star ratings uh, which is the actual star ratings badge that will appear over by your products as you can see here on this handy dandy gif we're going to just click install star ratings this will then re-bring up that same page we we're already on and then we will have this here adding the star ratings as you got to see just wait for it to load now by default it will put the star ratings at the bottom uh, underneath the share button if you've already maybe added and moved some things around what i would recommend doing if you want it to appear in the correct location what you'll need to do under the star ratings so that it isn't just <laughs> at the bottom under the share button as if we click save right now and we refresh the product page 
Uh, as you can see, once that loads in, just give it a second, save and refresh here. Uh, it will kind of be in that wrong spot. So we need to make sure that we move it uh, up again. We don't actually have any reviews just yet for this product. So it might just not show on the actual page. Um, so what we're going to want to do is to get these star ratings to appear in the correct spot. As you can see here, only in the preview mode, we're going to come over here to the left hand side underneath the product information. We're going to scroll all the way down until we see star ratings. And what we're going to want to do is click and drag this up underneath the title. Uh, if that's where you want it. Now, I would recommend putting it under the title because that's probably where most people would want their product reviews is right underneath the product title, um, just above the price. You can feel free to move this to any location that you want. You can put it above the title if you want. Um, you just have to click and drag this little icon here. As, again, it's all underneath the product information within the product page template. And it's the star ratings widget that you can go ahead and click and drag around. If you accidentally delete the block, you can always come back here uh, and add the block back with the product rating um, under star ratings within the judge.me reviews app. That's going to be that that star ratings. That's what it is called is star ratings. But it, it, you shouldn't have deleted it just yet under the blocks. Uh, and that's how you do it. You click and you drag it up. And now you have the star ratings. Make sure you click save. And now it may or may not appear depending on if you actually have product reviews just yet for your product. Um, if you don't have any, probably will not be appearing there just yet because you don't actually have any product reviews. But on the sample, as you can see here, we do have the sample star. So it will appear there once you actually have the product reviews added to your store. Uh, now, next, as you can see here, we can then set up the branding and the colors of the star rating. So um, most people would probably want the yellow. Uh, as you can see here, that is the new default for judge.me is that yellow gold. If you don't want to change it, you don't have to edit anything. Uh, here, but if you do want to change the color, you can feel free to click on that, move around the pinwheel. If we want it to be like red, maybe to match the branding better, uh, we can click that there. And then we can go ahead and refresh here. Uh, and as you can see here, it's automatically updated to that new red color um, for writer review. So if you do want the star ratings and the buttons to be a different color, you just edit that here within the uh, judge.me reviews app. And here is the automatic review request. Uh, this will then send request emails to your customers for new orders so that you can actually get those reviews coming in. Um, you can either edit to leave it on the default or if you wanna change it, you can feel free to do this. So uh, we're gonna click finish. And as you can see here, we are now all done. You're now ready to collect reviews and display them in your store. Now, next, what you can do is either, uh, we're gonna explore judge.me. You can also import reviews too. So if you wanna import reviews, maybe that already exist um, you could do that there. Maybe if you had the old Shopify product reviews app from maybe an old tutorial of mine, as I used to recommend and promote that one, it's just the default um, one. You can import them here. So I'm not gonna be showing you all the different apps here where you can sync and add reviews, but if you just wanted to know, you know, you can do it from a CSV file. Uh, you can add it through judge.me, Luke's, Yachtpo, Air Reviews, the old Shopify product reviews app itself, you can import them from. Uh, you can also view additional apps. You can also import them from alternative e-commerce platforms. Maybe if you are doing drop shipping with AliExpress, you can import reviews from AliExpress as well. You can import reviews from your Amazon listings, Etsy, WooCommerce as well. Uh, they do have an, an import wizard as well for Google Sheets. Uh, you can also sync reviews across the shop app, Google Shopping, Meta, uh, and other Shopify stores as well. So maybe if you're selling m some products across multiple stores, you can do that there too. So you do have a lot of options here if you do want to import or export product reviews too from the Judge.me app, which is nice, especially if you are coming from that older uh, Shopify app. So you have the ability to do that there if you're going to import and add reviews. So uh, as you can see here, you know, upgrade to awesome, get more rewards. We're going to click that out. Um, and then this is sort of the um, default. As you can see here, we have import reviews, review requests, and set up the reviews carousel. We're going to close that checklist there. Um, we're going to close that there. So as you can see here, these are the reviews I have already imported um, previously in another tutorial for just to show you an example of like what it would essentially look like. Um, but once you've added the star ratings and the reviews to the bottom and you've installed the judge.me app, you're pretty much good to go uh, when it comes to making sure everything is enabled on the site so that reviews can be created and can be added to your Shopify store here. As you can see, click write a review. 
uh, and boom, you can submit reviews. Again, you will need to have an email there or you know a name, enter the email, it'll be uh, private, submitted. So that's what the process looks like. People can add pictures, videos if they want, uh, review title, comments, things like that, uh, and how the name will be um, listed. You can also select there. So that's just to show you sort of what the review submission process can look like for your customers. Uh, and then if we do go back to a product that does actually have reviews already added, uh, as you can see here, this is the cat brush <laughs> that I've already imported some reviews. So as you can see here, once you have reviews, it will start populating here at the top with 15 reviews. And if you do click this reviews, it will automatically take you down to the customer reviews section. Now these were imported from AliExpress just to give you full clarity and transparency there. Um, and as you can see here, you have the images. So you, you, know, you can click through product review images on the reviews. Um, as you can see here, pretty, pretty easy, pretty straightforward, pretty simple to understand. Um, so you can see, you know, your customers can leave reviews of the products and things like that. Uh, and this is how it will appear once you actually have customer reviews um, for your products on your Shopify store. Again, with the reviews widget, it's pretty much how you add reviews to your Shopify store. Again, if you do want to edit any of the other settings in here within judge.me, this is where you will see all the reviews, where they're, how they're published, um, how they were added here. As you can see, these were added via AliExpress. Um, you can also feel free to, you know, share certain reviews, update them, edit them, or even delete reviews too, if you just don't like it or you want to control, have a little bit more control over that. You can also add uh, question and answers. You can also, um, as I said before, you can import more reviews. You can also set it so that you can publish reviews manually as well, or just automatically publish reviews so that you can kind of create a little bit more filtering process. You can do that here in the settings of judge.me. Uh, and you can I uh, see all the reviews that you have for various products. As you can see, I don't have reviews on really any products except for the cat brush is the only one on this store um, with actual reviews because they were imported. So this will show ones that were already added um, to your store naturally. Um, so that's again, essentially the judge.me product reviews, pretty easy to add reviews to your store. You know, if you do want to edit some of the colors, you can come in here. Um, and, and edit the branding and things like that. So you can come back here and edit the branding if you want. Again, that's under judge.me reviews, general settings. This is where you can edit the color if you wanted to change it. Um, we can just reset it to the default. We can go you know, back to the, we're gonna go ahead and discard that actually, kind of like that sort of uh, reddish orange color. Um, as you can see, some of these are advanced settings if you do wanna change those. You also have uh, additional integrations some of these are on their paid plan but again if you just wanted the free version uh, again that is just available for the forever free version that i already showed you again you don't necessarily need the awesome version um, if you don't need those features you can be just good to go uh, with the standard version of the judge.me and you have marketing and social settings you can also go through here and edit um, if you want to again a lot of these are more of the premium settings uh, but the default version of the review widget is pretty easy to use. You do also have the option to set up a reviews carousel that you can add to your store uh, on the free version too. Um, if you do want to add that, maybe your homepage or something like that, all you have to do is click this install button here. But essentially that is how you add these product reviews to your Shopify store and so that customers can actually start leaving reviews on your Shopify store. So again, guys, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Again, if you don't already have a Shopify store, you can check out that first link down below in the video description. That's brennanvaleski.com forward slash Shopify. We will take you right over to this page here where you can get started with a Shopify free trial. Again, that's that first link down below in the video description. If you guys found this tutorial helpful on how to add product reviews to your Shopify store, go ahead and smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Anyway, guys, that's all for today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.